Right, so we've got a full Serie A team of the season. I pulled from the right back because obviously there was no right back in the team of the season. This team was meant to have Chiellini, but at the time of me buying this squad, the Chiellini, there was like three on the market, I think, and they were all up for like ridiculous prices. So I just, I wasn't getting him. So I just got De Vrij instead. Uh, Koulibaly looks insane. Most of these players just look incredible. I packed Kadira in the untradeable SVC pack, so get in there. And yeah, Alexandro, incredible. Alejandro Gomez, incredible. Icardi, incredible. These are all just full day out, incredible. 99 pace. But let's get into a game anyway. These will be weekend league games. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Oof, 88 Carrasco, Griezmann. Oh, in fact, it's a full Atletico Madrid team. Okay, full, full Atletico Madrid team. Not bad. Fair enough, you don't usually come up against anything like this. So, yeah, fair enough. That's it. Over to Baldi Diaw. Baldi Diaw, finish it. Let's go. 1 0 already. Get in, man. Get in. Let's go. That's what I like to see from Baldi Diaw. Yeah, his stats are ridiculous. Like, he's got like 94 strength and 99 pace. Six foot tall, high low worker. It's like, he's just ridiculous. I know I'm playing at, him at striker on 7 Ken, but I don't think that really matters. I, I honestly don't think that matters. Oh my god, no. That's, that's not a good start. That is really not a good start for Koulibaly. Getting shrugged off the ball by Griezmann. Oh, man. I mean, it might just be my fault. It might genuinely just be my fault because I really should have just got rid. But I did not expect Griezmann to be shrugging Koulibaly off the ball there. That's uh, it's a bit ridiculous. That's it, Cordy. Let's go. Let's go. That, I know you've got 90 pace now. I know you've got 90 pace and that's all he needs. That, that little bit of pace, that extra pace that he's got. Will make this Icardi incredible, man. Like, the previous Icardi cards already had, like, maxed out finishing. He already had, like, 99 finishing and stuff. But this team of the season, he's got that improved pace, that improved dribbling. He's got improved long shots as well. So, yeah, that's that's the only place he really needed improving. And that's what they've improved. So, hopefully, this Icardi can be a beast. Good save, Donnarumma. Oh, Donnarumma, man. <sighs> I, that, I don't feel like that should have gone in because he, Donnarumma made a really nice save. And then Griezmann's weak foot. I feel like Donnarumma should have got to that though. I feel, I feel like Donnarumma should have definitely got to the rebound. His hand sinks into the floor. That says it all really, I guess. That's it, Biglia. I, I don't really want Biglia to be the one there, but I'll take it. Hamshik, come on. Let's go, Hamshik. Let's go. Hamshik with the late run. To get into the... Well, not to get into the box, but get into the position to shoot. Get in there, man. That's a great run from Hanshik. Look at him. Just making the run, busting his gut to just get there. And that's a great finish. Oh, that bang in the top corner. No keeper is saving that. Let's go, man. That's it. Icardi's through. Come on, Icardi. Hold him off. That's it. Over to Baldi. Diaw just waited for the run. Wait, that was nice. I, I like the way. I, I, I'm proud of myself. Because usually I would rush that and I would take the shot with Icardi. But that time I waited because I knew Baldi. Diaw would make the run just behind me. And so I, I waited. And, and that's a great finish and a great pass from Icardi and, and Baldi. Diaw. So I'm happy with that. I'm really happy. <laughs> He's just scored with Felipe Luis's weak foot. I couldn't, I couldn't track Felipe Luis. I couldn't tackle him, and he, he, <laughs> he just, just casually runs in with his left back and fucking finesses it into the corner with his weaker foot. Oh my god! Oh come on, Donna, Donna Rummer. I'm sorry, guys, but I, I can't, I, I can't. Donna Rummer has made one save. It was a good save, but he's made one save in comparison to this guy's goalkeeper's eight saves. Like, what is he doing there? What is it? What, what is that positioning? What even is that? What is it? That, 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 what the fuck, man? That's the Alejandro to Kira. Baldi Diaw, no! Oh my god. Back. Kadira, Kadira finishing. There we go. Kadira, get in. Just getting in the position, waiting for it. Get in. Thank you, Kadira. Thank you. Oh, nice positioning, actually. Got into the space. Got into the position. That's what I like to see. Get in. That's it, Alejandro. Oh, nearly. That's it. Baldi Diaw. Beautiful Baldi. Let's go. Let's go, Baldi Diaw. 
Beautiful. Finish this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fantastic from Baldi Diao. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why I keep saying thank you to my players. They probably should be doing this, but still. 6-4. My god. Donnarumma is sabotaging me here. I, I'm not too sure whether to replace him or not because this Donnarumma has made one save the whole game. I will tell the 6-4 win. Donnarumma is a bit of a liability purely because that guy in that game had five shots. He literally had five shots on target and he scored four goals. Like Donnarumma made one save. That's it. So, yeah. I, that, it shouldn't even have been that close that game. It should not have been, but let's get to another game anyway. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy is. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Not not too bad. Not too bad at all. Stindle at CDM. Not too sure about that. Centre mid, yeah. Not too sure about CDM because he's got SBC Vidal as well who you could just put there. But fair enough. This, uh, this might be a tough game. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> That's it, Baldi Diao. Beautiful from Baldi Diao. Let's go, man. He's been so good so far, this this Baldi Diao, man. Let's go. I've got this, like, weird delay in this game, and it's been really affecting me, to be honest. It's really starting to annoy me. It's starting to frustrate me a little bit. It's one all at the moment. But, honestly, I'm I'm really I'm really surprised I'm not losing by more. Or, or at least I'm not losing, because this delay is really killing me. That's it, Alejandro. Beautiful. That's it. Beautiful skill dribbling. Play through to Icardi. That's it. Back to Alejandro Gomez. Alejandro, let's go. That was a beautiful attack. That was a beautiful counter-attack. Get in there. Gomez is... I think that's his first goal for me, to be honest. But he's done well there. He's done really well. Great positioning to, to find the space. And that's all you want from your cam if they're going to be playing in that position. Just to find that little bit of pocket of space where you can play it into them and put it away. Win that flick on. Neil Post flick on from Icardi. Baldi Diao will get the finish. This Baldi Diao, man, he's just in the right place at the right time all the time. Oh, man, that's 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 pretty lucky, actually, because his player was trying to block it on the line, but my player, like, sh shielded him off. I, I wasn't even trying to shield him off. The player just did it automatically. Get in there, Baldi Diao. Let's go, Icardi. Let's go, Icardi. It's beautiful from Icardi. Come on, that's it. Keep going. Oh, it's a penalty. No, okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to just hold this up a little bit. Okay, Baldi Diao will No, come on, yes! <laughs> Baldi Diao with another hat trick in this game. Oh my god. He's that he's he's playing so well. I did not expect him to be this good. He's outshining Icardi. And Icardi's usually like my a main man when I when I use like one of his inform versions. Icardi's usually the main man. He's usually finishing everything, but he Baldi Diao's just outshining him right now. And I will take the 4-1 rage quit. Let's get into one last game. Let's go. Let's see what team this guy has. Xunwing Sun, Aguero, Morris. I would say it's your typical Premier League team, but he's got Schmeichel. You wouldn't normally see Schmeichel. You don't really see Yaya Torre anymore. Uh, Morris, you don't see. Aguero, you don't normally see either. Shaw, you don't even see him anymore. Beautiful. Over to Balde Diao. That'll do. Fake shot. Over to Hamsik, who's always in this position. And he finishes it with his weaker foot. Hamsik is always there. I'm loving this Hamsik at centre mid so far. I originally didn't want to use him at centre mid, but so far he's playing really, really well. He's just popping in, popping up at the right positions at the right times. What a save. Oh, it was a good first save as well from Donnarumma. So it's unfortunate. that was, He got quite lucky there, to be fair to him. Like, it was a good first save from Donnarumma, and then his second shot, if you look at the rebound, it like bounces over Donnarumma only just. Like he scuffs the shot completely. If he doesn't scuff the shot there, it doesn't go in. It's as simple as that. No, you lucky fuck, man. You lucky, lucky person. Shouldn't get salty, but... Oh, you're telling me you wouldn't get mad at that? You would not. It's such a tight game. And then your keeper... Donnarumma's been fucking shocking. Your keeper just palms it out from a low driven cross as well. It wasn't even a fucking shot. Just palms it out to his player for an open goal. Come on, Baldi Diao, please. Yes. Yes. Baldi Diao has been the man in this video, man. Been the fucking boss. Let's go. Two all. Baldi Diao, man. The guy tried sitting back. He tried putting his defense back. He, he must have gone part of the bus. But Baldi Diao with a nice strike into the top corner. 
to a goal. I see you there, Abate. Making the run. He bought a body. Oh my god. <laughs> my right back. Yes. Fourth birthday a body. Just making the darting run. I don't know what made him make that run, but he just did. I got it to him, and that's that's a really good finish from a body. My god. <laughs> I did not expect to score that. Going to penalties, even though I don't think we deserve I don't think I deserve to be to at penalties, to be honest. I re I really just don't think this should be a penalties. I feel like I should have won. But this guy is good, though. This guy is very good. Ah, he went the same way I did. But yeah, like I said, this guy's good. Come on, Baldi Diao. Let's put this penalty away. Come on. Come on. Slightly to the... Oh, oh, oh. oh that's lucky. That's very lucky. Come on. Yes. Yes, let's go. Saved his. Come on. Come on, Alejandro Gomez. I believe in you. I believe in you. Straight down the middle. Oh, as if you expected me to go straight down the middle. As if. Last say, I saved his penalties. When people move all the way to one side on penalties, you just know that they're going to go the other way. You just, it's just so obvious. Like You can't can't trick someone by doing that. Oh, he saved it. Saved it. Oh, this is, this is a tense penalty shootout. This is a really... Oh, he went straight down the middle. Oh, God. Big player with no stamina. Let's go, let's go, Big Leah. I went once. I went one way. I moved my analog stick all the way to the other side just to try and trick him that I went to the other one. Yes, yes, get in there. Oh man, I didn't even know that he saved it. Like the camera kind of Pogba's body kind of blocked where the where the shot went, so I, I couldn't see on my screen straight away. But yeah, I, I will I will take that. Great save, Donnarumma with his feet as well. At least he can save penalties. At least he can save penalties. That's one thing you can say. Because he, he, he wasn't saving anything in game, man. Right, so I'm going to be completely honest. This Alejandro Gomez disappointed me a little bit. I was expecting so much better. I, I, I don't know what it was, but he only got one goal and two assists in three games. Which, I don't know. I just expected a little bit more from this Alejandro Gomez. He's obviously really, really quick. 90, 97 dribbling. No problems. Uh, he, his ball control is very nice, actually. His, his dribbling is very good. But I think the main thing that lets him down massively is his is his strength. It's as simple as that. Like the strength, uh, when when he's in cam, usually they have more space to work with. But if you get closed down, if someone's playing like really high aggressive play and you have a really weak cam like Gomez, then it's really hard to play against. It is really hard to play against because you you can't shield it. So they're just gonna get the ball taken off them straight away. So yeah, the strength is a bit of an issue. Uh, but he is he is good. But like I said, I was just hoping for better. So don't don't think that I'm saying he's bad because I'm not. He's just I'm saying I'm, I hoped for better. That's it. 92 shot. His long shots are really nice. I didn't really get a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with him, which is weird because you'd think that with 99 pace and playing at Cam making those deep runs, I'd be able to get one-on-one -on -one with him. But I just didn't. He, it's as simple as that. The players I was playing against were really good defensively and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just couldn't couldn't get one-on-one -on -one with him. And 94 passing, obviously. That's the reason I played him Cam is because his passing is very, very nice. So, yeah, he is a good player. I think he's a little overpriced right now, but I was just hoping for better. Uh, Balde Dial is the star of this show, without a doubt. It's just, this Balde Dial is genuinely just magical in game. And he's really cheap, in my opinion. For so, for a left forward, who you can easily play at striker on 7 cam, as I did here, and get that kind of goal return in three games from him, That, that that's really cheap, in my opinion, with those stats. That is just ridiculous. High low work rates, four star skills, and four star weak foot. Six foot tall. He's got 94 strength in game. 300k to get 10 gold contributions in three games. Not bad at all. Obviously, lightning quick. 96. What you see on the card is what you get. His, his long shots are nice. His finishing is nice. His strength is ridiculous. Ball control, no problems. Passing, no problems. Icardi was. He was playing the assister, and that's just because he wasn't making the runs. Balde Dia was making all the runs, and I think Cardi is more of a lone striker type of uh, type of striker. It's as simple as that. I think he's a target man. He's he's a four three two one kind of striker. So yeah, Icardi is good. He feels quick. He feels pretty quick. You can definitely feel that pace upgrade. Ninety six dribbling it, again. He's the same as Balde Diaz. They both had really good dribbling. Obviously, Balde Diaz got the four star skills. Icardi doesn't. 98 shot, clinical, but I, like I said, he just wasn't making the runs, wasn't, I, I don't know, I just didn't really notice him, and I think it's because I was playing him in a two-strike formation, and Balde Diaw was just taking all the spotlight, 
90 strength, uh, well, 90 physical, sorry. He's very strong, but his aggression's really low, but he does win a lot of headers from goal kicks, so no problems there. And 85 passing, he got more assists than he did goals, so I don't know, that's, that's just what he says there is, is what you get. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you know, Twitter, sorry, it's down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.